Yeah, yeah, that was that. I'm pretty sure I saw one over here, too. Is it on the ceiling? Oh, no, no, it's... All right, we are here today checking out a completely free banger, full game as well, in Life Link. I definitely encourage you guys to check this out on your own accord. I have a link for you down below. This right here is a passion project by a developer. Been working on this for the last two years and a half or something. It's finally done. And this seemed very intriguing to me in that essentially the best way I could kind of boil this down for you is take The Last of Us, condense it down into a pixel-styled survival game, and instead of zombies, you have AI rogue mechas that have gone insane and are killing people. These are giant freaking mechs, so I imagine there's also like a story behind how this all came about, but that's what we're here to find out. Are you sure this is the only way? Yeah. All the other ones are blocked. Why do we have to go here again? Because something is waiting for us here. It has been for such a long time. It's still pretty far. Maybe we should just go back. Noah, don't be like that. You promised that we'd pull this through. I know, I just have a bad feeling about it. We'll be fine. Where'd you put that flashlight of yours? I have it right here, Monday. Great. Take care of yourself. I always do. We're not alone. Alright. Well, as what little I know about this, we are playing the role of Noah. And apparently, this thing on her back, this cat, I'm not sure if he's a cat backpack, he's just a regular stuffed cat. Maybe he's the remains of a dead cat. Maybe he's a... a cat that actually speaks. Hard to really decipher, but if I had to wager a guess, he's probably just uh, a real cat. Maybe a stuffed cat that we talk to because, you know, we might be the last person in the world and as humans we are social creatures and we need something to talk to, so this is what keeps us going. That's kind of like my best staff here at the dark. But as you can see, this is basically what the game boils down to and like this right here alone just kind of feels like a Last of Us, like, you know, level somewhere, you know? just kind of like condensed down to like pixel form. Totally already digging it. And what do we have here? We got ourselves a car battery. How did that get here? I don't know. Maybe there's still some power in there. We should take it. Okay. Sure. Find a car battery, might as well take it because you never know. So yeah, this right here, all of it looks awesome. I'm not entirely sure if we can get through the entire game, but there's the full game is done. It's free, as I mentioned. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get through the entire thing. I'll try, but if we do not, maybe we come back for more, maybe we won't, maybe I just won't, and I'll let you give you an incentive more so to download it for yourself, because it's a free game. By a developer who worked on this for like two years, so definitely encourage you guys to check it out on your own accord. Are we at a fireplace? It's still glowing, too. We really are not alone. Huh. Yeah, I mean, a fire would probably indicate that. And if somebody made a fireplace, good chance they're humans, so we might not be the only one. Okay, that's a gate that's closed off. Cable gap. Oh, oh, I put the battery. Okay, perfect. Something snapped. Oh, the door. Gotcha. Okay. So that was for the door. <laughs> Just kind of stumbled into that one. We have another cable gap, though, no? and a pipe. And another door, so we probably need the battery for this, and I had to wager a guess because I'm such a studious boy. We probably use the pipe to keep- yeah. Now, maybe it just might be me overanalyzing things, but if the power is off of that door, why would it shut itself off afterwards? You know, close the door, if the power is off. Don't you need power to close the door? Eh, uh, you know, as I'm saying, just throwing it out there. I know somebody would probably be in the comments, Well, actually, Falcon, um, the power conservation thing's how they works. And they'll be like, you know what, you're, you're probably right. Actually, voice, you're normally right. Okay, we have a little bit of change in tune here as well. No spoopiness just yet, but that's fine. You want to keep the spoopiness away from it. Regret. Oh, we're going to have one of those deep games, aren't we? Make you think a little bit. Wait. Yeah, I saw it already Monday. What is all this? Paintings about a very different time. 
Who made them? They look new. Maybe whoever lit that fire in the other room. Yeah, but why? I don't know. Why would someone do all this? There's nobody here. We should keep going. Right. They are pretty, though. I mean, you know. I of the Beholder, right? It's a little ominous to me. Like, it seems like we have, like, a countryside. It says believe, and then... Some sort of, like, bloody eclipse or something. Blood from the skies, who knows. We have a vehicle here, too. Oh, I hear something, right? Can you hear that? Oh, no! That's one of them! Make no sound. Well, I mean, he's a stuffed cat. I think he's not going to be making any much noise. Yo. Oh, you're not going to let me see what it is, are you? I like that. This is bad. We have to sneak past it. We'll die if that thing on the ceiling sees us. I'm scared too, but we have no choice. I'm not scared. It's just really dangerous. Just make sure you stay away from the light. And be careful. I will be. They never got us. They won't get us now. Well, I mean, the problem is that now I'm controlling you, so <laughs> the tables have probably changed quite a bit. Oh, there's a battery over there. Okay, so we might want to, we might want to get that. So he's on the roof. That's even more in the ceiling. That's even more terrifying. Just the fact that we can't see it just trips me out quite a bit. Okay, so how do we want to play this out? Like when it's... Ooh, 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 ooh. Those slick jukes, boy. So this seems to be like an, uh, underground railroad, or subway, is what you call them, Falcon? Yes. An underground railroad. It's kind of the same thing, right? Rusty door? Kind of the same thing when you think about it. What the hell? Batteries? No, it's a fuse. Sure. I mean, if you ask me, it's like two little small batteries. Anything else over here? No. Rusty door. You're not kidding. This right here would give Silent Hill a run for its money. This is also fresh. Do you... Do you think the painter left us? How much blood does one person have? <laughs> it's a... It is a lot of blood. I'm scared. Can we move on? Yeah, we should. Wait, look! Oh, is that what they are? Okay. That is not man-made. I can't imagine, like, you know, us humans, as dumb as we are, sitting around one day and be like, you know what would be nice? A mechanized spider. That would be a great invention by us. This isn't one from earlier, is it? No, he's been lying here for way too long. I've never seen one like this, broken. It's a good sign, though. It means they won't be around here forever. Neither will we. Let's go before more show up. Good point. I mean, this, this can't be like blood from one single person. That's like way too much, I would say. I don't like walking rails too, by the way. It just makes me feel like something terrible is going to happen. Like the incoming sounds of a train! I'm not sure if that was scripted to miss you or what, but we... Luckily, I saw that thing enough to, like, move to the left. I got terrible reflexes, I'm a boomer. So I'm not sure that was scripted or not, but hey. Um... Isn't that the same sign that we saw from the Believe painting? It looks like it. Oh, not this again. Please, no more. Nothing there. Got really good, like, creepy atmospheric music here, too. Oh, God, it is! Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure that's not... I mean, the, the event... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sure the event scripted, but that was me dodging that, by the way. Okay. Oh, my goodness, God. the hell are you? Yo. <laughs> Monday. Alert our boy about this person here. 
Well, it's them talking. You're quite the troublemaker. I've seen them angry before. They're kind of always angry. But never this angry. Your name is Monday, right? Noah. Oh. She blushing? I'm Anais. I'm gonna call you Anna from now on because it's a lot easier for me. Nice to meet you, Noah. How do you know about Monday and me? Yeah, exactly. How do you know about Monday? Oh, I've been following you around. Monday is that guy on your back, isn't he? Yeah. You going to the factory, right? How do you know? Why else would anyone come here? Why are you here then? Because I thought people would come here. People who... Oh, you're leaving? See you later then. It's a very awkward... like, interaction, but I could expect it to be awkward, especially... I mean, the entire premise. We don't know, we're not sure how long Noah hasn't seen anybody for one. Number two, just suddenly shows up out of nowhere, knows things about us. I like it though, like it's supposed to be uncomfortable and that felt very uncomfortable. Who in the world was that? i never seen anyone act like this. Yeah, she was acting strange. Who can afford to be this open? Someone naive or someone dangerous. I think she was for real. Maybe. But we can't just trust some stranger on a whim. We need to move on. We're getting closer. Yeah, it's completely strange. She's completely strange. Not the guy over here talking to a stuffed cat in his back. So if we're talking weirdness, then, you know, I think we might have this person beat a little bit. We could climb through the hole here. And get back up to the surface. Noah! We've been through this. We need to get there. This place is infested with machines. This is not what I agreed to. Who knows if we'll get another chance to go back up. You promised. And you didn't think this was going to be easy, did you? No. Just doable. This is the factory. The place wasn't going to be unguarded. Let's just get this over with. I feel like we're playing the role of John Connor here. <laughs> Trying to invade the factory where all Skynet's taking place. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope that you do too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that technically shouldn't happen now, should it? Door just starts turning by itself. Okay, so we got water. Uh, oh, oh, car battery, sure. I feel like um, that's going to be the ongoing puzzle in this game, isn't it? Car batteries. Find car batteries, put them into the, the cable gaps, and there you go. Okay, so that's apparently too deep for us to walk through. Water pump, there we go. We can move now? Yep. It's gone now. Now question, can I take this with me? Ye yes. Alright. As long as it's pump, it's gone. No worries then. The chances are we should probably just carry all this stuff with us, because you never know. Alright, so we have another flooded area here. Another water pump. Another cable gap. Yep. That seems to be the boy. No, no. Now, that should be for the left, but we didn't really check all the way down here now, did we? No. Oh. It's barred. Okay. So... Once again, grab this battery, because... I'll probably use it for something else when I'm like... Oh. I'm going back up from here. So we've kind of looped back vertically, kind of like up a level. There we go, you see what I'm saying? Car batteries to the rescue, and those are completely flooded, so more than likely we'll find. Excuse me. 
Wait a minute. Oh, it's the barred door. So by putting the battery over there, this opened up. But... We need another one to pump the water from here, is that what you're telling me? Two hours later. Alright, so I've retraced my steps um, around here, no battery, so I could only imagine maybe there's something that we missed earlier on. Like... I'm sure that was Anna. Running off and leaving a battery for me. Well, I mean, she's been following us here, so... I guess she's helping out. Maybe. Battery. Pump it. More drawings. Maybe Anna drew these. The girl? Could be. She is the only person we have met here. Is this the city outside? It looks so different in there. Was it trying to... What is it trying to tell us? We don't have the time to figure that out. We have to keep going. Well, that's still that symbol, right? So symbol, we have a sky box here. We got buildings. Everything seems fairly normal. It's a person, right? Holding something purple. That seems fairly, I guess, normal enough other than like a green person holding something purple in that symbol in this. Oh, okay. So, green person is now standing with the purple thing there, and then whatever that was, it's like shining a red light of doom on it. Looks a lot angrier, and apparently. That sent... That sent the mecha, mecha monster things. Green person is now God. Or killed, one or the other. Huh. Okay. I love trying to, like, you know, fit the story just from the paintings alone. Okay, so... There's a lot of soldiers here. That destroyed the entire world for the most part. Green is escaping. And it went underground with purple. You guys seeing a little bit of a comparison here? Is I am. She really did draw them, didn't she? We already knew she was strange. It makes sense to me. Aren't you curious what all this means? What for? It doesn't get us any further. I think the less we interact with that girl, the better for us. Sure. Right, let's just keep going forward. So that's green. Crying bloody tears. Purple now looks like a baby, a fetus. You know, like we got like an umbilical cord thing happening over here. Well, my mind's racing over thinking of ideas, but it does seem to be fairly well laid out. Oh, that's so good. Fairly well laid out for us. Are you okay? I'm fine. But the flashlight's gone. It can't be far. Let's hope it didn't break. Yeah. No kid. Oh, there it is. Oh. It still works. That's good. What's that horrible smell? Oh. Oh, oh that's that horrible smell. Oh my god, that person was torn apart at the center. Please let, let me let me just get by. Oh crap, dude. Well, I guess we're seeing where all the bloods came from, except the blood is fresh, and these bodies, like considering the flies here, seem like they've been rotting for a very long time. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that, that was a uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that was that. I'm pretty sure I saw one over here, too. Is it on the ceiling? Oh, no, no, it's... Oh, God! Okay, yeah. I thought it was reflecting from the ceiling. Because, you know, they've been on the ceiling before, which would have been actually a really cool mechanic they're on the ceiling. All right, that being said, we're out of time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I know it's kind of a bit of a scumbag cliffhanger spot, but I'm doing this mainly because I would like you to go out and check this out for yourselves and give the developer a little bit of support by, you know, getting those extra clicks and downloads in this game. It's a completely free game, as I mentioned. If you want me to come back to and finish it, though, I will do that. Let me know in the comments if you're leaving a thumbs up, and I shall do so. But I definitely encourage you guys to check it out for yourselves. Free after all. Who knows how long more it goes, but so far, pretty awesome for a free game. I'll catch you guys next time.